Hi, I'm Heather from Hey of Booktubes, and today is my mid-year reading journal flip through. So this is everything that's in my reading journal so far. You can see how it changed in my start of the year reading journal flip through if you are so interested. Here's my cover page. I get almost everything from Paper Minty Studio where she has her own website. I follow her on Instagram. That's how you know when the drops are. This is my rating system, the guide for all the colors that I use. So almost everything in the journal is one of these colors and that indicates the rating of the book. 2024 goals, mid-year reset. So I'm on my way to 4,000 subscribers, but time will tell if we will hit it or not. I am well on my way to 200 books read. I am not 100% sure where I am on the 100 diverse books read. Probably a little short, but close. I listen to nonfiction. I have given up on that. I will not lie to you. It has not gone well. <laughs> the new goals for the mid-year are to stay current on Net Galley arcs, film more discussion videos, finish my 33 for 33 TBR, or at least be on track for it and prioritize it throughout the rest of the year, and finish my pre-2024 TBR as usual. Growth tracker, I did mess this up just recently. It was very upsetting, but I have gained, what, 300? basically, subscribers this year, which is wonderful. These are my best performing videos of each month at the end of the month, and my reading wrap-up kind of indicates how many videos did above average or not. My top performing videos for the year and favorite will be filled out January 1st. Anticipated releases tracker, if I read it and what the rating was, DNFs tracker, obviously I DNF a lot. Not sure that they are all represented here, but uh, that's okay. This is my library tracker and my Kindle Unlimited tracker. Again, how many books I did from those sources that month and what the rating of the books were. Here's the new spread for the second half of the year. I went with the exact same format, obviously. These are other sources of books, read physically, owned ebooks, formally DNF'd, rereads, things like that that I just wanted to keep track of, ARCs as well. Commitment reads, Amazing Readathon is inflating <laughs> my readathon numbers, but I am a mood reader and I wanted to see if things that I pretty much read specifically because of a choice that I made, how their ratings compared to the rest of my reading. Sources by platform. Obviously, it looks like I get most of my books from BookTube. These are specific creator sources. Um, Izzy, Steph, Robin are usually my go-tos, but Mara is really finding her way in there. <laughs> Length of the book tracker. Obviously, I have read two, I DNF'd one, over 550 pages, none over 650, and the majority are right here in that 200, 300 page range where I enjoy the most, honestly. Like, that's my favorite, no surprise there. Author diversity, doing okay-ish. Author frequency, a lot of new to me authors and a lot of the DNFs from them. New releases and backlist tracker. Again, the biggest thing is repeat authors reading from their backlist. I read mostly adult. Year published, uh, 2024 has been probably the heaviest. I read more indie than I do traditional. Uh, here's more diversity trackers. This is kind of the specifics. This is the diversity of the main characters or love interests and side characters, prominent side characters that have an important part in the book. More diversity tracking. This is physical and this is sexual orientation. This is all of my genres that I actually read. Here are the subgenres of romance that I read. And here's my trope tracker. I just did things that I actually read and have tracked before and knew I wanted to track again. It's always evolving, it's never the same. I do think there's a couple more things I would like to track for next year, but if you do fall behind on this, it is not fun to try and catch up. 
This is my steam and kink tracker. So I've read a surprising amount of books that have no steam in them. And then standard is the one that I will probably end up needing to make a new square for. And my standard <laughs> is not everybody's standard. So let's just understand that. This is one, uh, like a few explicit sex scenes. I am most enjoying the injured have sex box. <laughs> Here's my series progress tracker for series I'm actually reading. So if I DNF a book that was in a series or I read one I didn't really love it but it was in a series, it doesn't go in this tracker. This is only ones I've read multiple of or read the first book and had every intention of continuing the series afterwards. And this is my new spread, which has already got some entries in it. This is my reading projects. The Amazing Readathon is my current reading project. We'll see how many more I do. I think I have a couple scheduled for July, despite my best intentions to take it very, very easy. This is my oldest TBR progress tracker. This is the TBR that I need to finish by the end of the year. These are all the books that were on my TBR prior to 2024, including some releases that aren't even out yet. <laughs> but this is all of it. I have deleted, DNF'd, read, still on TBR. So a lot of these were just deleted or DNF'd and a few of them were read. Here's my own TBR. I really don't buy books, ebook or physical. I try to read almost exclusively from the library and Kindle Unlimited, uh, but some do sneak in. Here's continuation. I don't think I'm going to end up needing this, so I will probably do something else with this page. Here's my rereads. These are not all of my rereads. These are just my completely read on a whim, not for any specific read along or readathon or anything like that. So obviously they're all five stars. Surprising no one, The Blue Castle by Ellen Montgomery is my favorite book of all time, and I did reread it recently. Now the Alona Andrews read along. We did the Kinsman Universe in January and February and Sanctuary is coming out in July. Very excited about that. Then I had the Rock Chick read along, which I did end up canceling because it was not fun. It was not going great. However, I have read the Avenging Angel book and then the second one is coming out in December. Here's the Folk of the Air trilogy. I had originally planned on doing a blog for all of these. I'm not going to, but I do have every intention of rereading these and continuing and reading these for the first time. And the spread is a big motivation for that. I love this one. Then I have my NetGalley tracker. If I've read it and reviewed it, it's filled in. If not, it's not. You can see how I'm doing on that. I will say I'm not behind on anything. Nothing has come out yet. Here's my buzzword tracker. Again, doing okay. Here's my 33 for 33 TBR and all the books that I've gone to or not so far. Another blank page. This is my spread for the Queen's Thief read along by Megan Wheeler Turner. This will not be starting until September. Uh, yeah, September. So obviously it's empty right now, but this is my favorite fantasy series. Has been for the last 20 years. It's amazing. You should read it with me in September. Here's my reading tracker. Obviously I've been reading a ton in June and you can see where I am filming this in the month, but in May I barely read. Here's my first quarter goals. I did okay. Here's my January cover page, January spread, February cover page, February spread. This is pretty self-explanatory. I did participate in several readathons in February with mixed results on my TBR and success in that. March cover page, I turned 33 in March. It's my birthday month. This is my favorite aesthetic. So I did all of that, second quarter goals, which are uh, still not done. <laughs> April cover page, April was inspired by the Tortured Poets Department. I picked all the colors and stickers for that specifically. 
30 and 30 also happened in April and as you can see I'm still threading my way through my amateur level <laughs> in June. May's cover page, I actually did a very small spread for May, so this is all of it, the cover page and the spread. My June spread is completely dedicated to the Amazing Readathon. These are based on the ratings that I gave the book, just like everything else. Face off weekend, sightseeing. You can see where I'm at with that at the time of filming. And third quarter goals. I will not be filming a July journal video. This is it. So this is your only chance to see these, whereas usually you would get a journal with me video. Going very simple in July. Again, I'm going to be busy and burned out and I want to take it easy on myself. And the rest of the pages are blank. I will have enough for the readathons and quarter goals and monthly spreads for the rest of the year. So that's it. That is my mid-year flip through. What did you think of my journal? Was there anything different that surprised you? Have you seen my journal before? Is this your first time seeing it? I'd love to know. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!